Hey everybody, welcome back here to A Place to Heal. My name is Marie. I'm in one of those moods where I feel like I should have some reggae music playing in the background, right? Okay, so I was headed out the door and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna stop for a minute and I'm gonna make this video for you guys. Because never in all the time that I have been doing medicine and herbs and detoxification, have I ever been approached as much as I have now about UTIs? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, men catch them too. Women have a tendency to catch them more frequently and more often because they have a shorter urethra than men do, but men do catch them. So just day before yesterday, my granddaughter says to me, um, hey, um, you know how they have like lice season and tick, tick and flea season? Do they also have like UTI season? And I was like, no. She goes, that's really weird. She goes, because like almost all my friends at school, at least three of them today have told me that they have UTIs. So I'm like, okay, so what is going on here? All right, so I am a strong believer that you should always know your opponent's weaknesses in order to win. <laughs> so in order for you to be able to win against these UTIs, especially if you have reoccurring ones over and over, because, you know, I mean, I'm, I have a, a, a lady friend who like they're reoccurring. I mean, she has, at, she has them at least once a month. And the problem with this is if you have these reoccurring ones, okay, there's always going to be the chance that this bacteria is going to get up into your kidneys and then you're going to end up with kidney damage or a really bad kidney infection, bladder infections, you know, all this stuff. So you don't want this getting near your kidneys. Okay, so it's very important. But the minute you get a UTI, you rush down to the doctor and you tell them that you have this UTI and the first thing they want to do is they want to put you on antibiotics, which good and bad, right? Because antibiotics, yes, will get rid of the UTI, but nine out of 10 times, ladies, you know, say it with me, you end up with a yeast infection and then you got to go back and you got to get pills for the yeast infection, right? It's a pain in the butt. All right. So I am going to teach you this recipe here today. I promise you, you have not heard of it anywhere on the net or you'll be very hard pressed to find it on the internet. Okay, but first we want to figure out the issues with a UTI. So we're gonna go through those and then I'm gonna teach you how to make this. All right, so as I said, most UTIs are caused by bacteria. Um, some can be caused by fungus, very rare. It's normally bacteria, which they like to treat with antibiotics. Um, it's, it's a bacteria that ends up going up into the tubes. And these tubes, this urethra, is very close to your anus, okay? So one of the reasons that women have reoccurring um, in fact, UTI infections is because they're wiping the wrong way. Okay, ladies, we've been taught from the time we're very little, front to back, front to back, never back to front because you're getting bacteria. There, there could be fecal bacteria and all sorts of stuff and you're pushing it forward and you're shoving it up there. And then the next thing you know, you end up with a UTI. So if you have recurring UTIs, keep that in mind. I'm gonna tell you ladies, one of the best things that you can possibly do, gentlemen, if you're listening and you have a, uh, a nice female at home and you don't want her having UTIs, do her a favor, by, um, get her a bidet. I mean, it's, I'm telling you ladies, your life will be changed forever, forever, okay? They're very simple to install. Anybody can install them and I do mean anybody. Okay, it's it's a third. It, you can go get the parts at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's thirty dollars, and the installation takes about 15, 20 minutes. And you will always be clean, fresh, and you won't have to worry about um, all these UTIs. All right. One main reason: holding your urine. 
you know i see all these girls sitting there and they're like crossing their legs and i'm like you need to go pee yeah i do but i'm just gonna hold it why okay not only does this cause utis but it also uh, weakens your bladder over time so then the next thing you know you're 56 years old and you can't hold your urine in your you know you're peeing in your pants constantly or you have urine leakage because you held your bladder all these years that that's a no-no okay so don't hold your pee you want to get that water in that bacteria out water in bacteria out you don't want that bacteria staying in there multiplying and causing issues uh, women who cycle, okay, especially now they have all these cycling classes, right, the spin classes, um, that can cause a lot of UTIs because, of course, you're sweating, bacteria is building up, and the next thing you know, you're sitting on a seat and you're pushing that bacteria in. Okay, that's another thing. If you work out, you exercise, you cardio, you lift weights, get your butt home, get in the shower, get yourself clean and get those pants off. As you sweat, there is bacteria building up in those pants, in that underwear. And the longer you sit in them, that longer that bacteria has a chance to move up in there. Okay, not emptying your bladder out fully. All right, there's, um, you know, we're in this this huge rush today to get to our graves. You know, that's how, what I think, because I mean, that's the only thing we're in a hurry about. And you know, it's like, I gotta go, I gotta go, <laughs> gotta make it there. And you know, we, we, we get in there and I even heard one woman, it's like, oh, don't worry, I can get in, I can power pee. I'm like, good for you. I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna empty my bladder out completely because I want all that bacteria to get out of my bladder. I don't want to sit there and power pee. And then, you know, you leave bacteria in there and it starts to multiply with the next bacteria coming down. Okay, certain drugs. Ask your doctors when they prescribe you stuff for anything, I don't care what it is, just say, are these, prone, are these drugs prone to UTIs? Chances are they're gonna tell you to ask your pharmacist. So when you fill your prescription, ask them, you know, what are, what are the chances of UTIs with this? Because there are a lot of them. I don't have the time to sit there and name them all today, but there is a lot of them. Okay, we've already discussed wiping the wrong way. Um, diabetes. Okay, not only is, for some reason, is it harder because your body is not breaking down those sugars correctly. Bacteria loves sugar, loves it. Okay, so if you're diabetic, there's more of a chance that you're gonna be getting more UTIs. And not only are you gonna be getting more UTIs, but they're also harder to get rid of, okay? Um, small thongs and panties. Ladies, I know you wanna feel sexy, and I know putting them underneath your clothes makes you feel feminine and pretty and cute, but it's a nightmare, okay? So do yourself a favor, don't wear those. If you're gonna wear, um, you know, I've, I've told my granddaughters, if you're gonna wear underwear, you don't want the lines, wear the longer ones, you know, or something like that. Um, or if you're, if you're gonna wear pretty panties, save it for the bedroom. You don't need to wear it under all your clothes, okay? You know, don't put them on because these thongs and these little pretty panties go up in there and what they're doing is they're just shoving that bacteria in there okay i have a friend who is like uti after uti after uti and when we went through the list she's like oh yeah i wear you know i wear those thongs and i'm like okay bingo oh no i'm not giving up my thongs i'm like okay well then you ain't giving up your utis either so there you go um sex of course, you know, there's a lot of movement that goes on during sex, a lot of back and forth and this and that, and you know, and things get, bacteria can be pushed from one section to another, and there you go. So, um, you know, there's not much that you can do about that, but there is something called um, honeymoon UTI. <laughs> so if you are a female who has not had sex in a very long period of time, and then all of a sudden you decide to engage in sex, just keep in mind 98% chance that you will end up with a UTI. So if you haven't had sex in a long time, I'm talking, you know, three, 
three months more, some five, six, whatever, anything after three months, okay? If you go to have sex, just plan for that UTI and keep, keep, a, keep that in mind, you know, because that UTI is usually going to show up about five or six days after that sexual encounter. So you're gonna notice it, right? So a lot of women go to the doctor and tell me, I think I got a, a venereal disease. And I'm like, no, you just have a UTI. <laughs> Chances are, hopefully, if you're lucky. All right, so here we go. Um, let's see, anything else? Oh, yes. If you constantly have the reoccurring ones, a lot of the people who have reoccurring ones like to tell me, oh, I'm gonna go get cranberry juice. Okay, bacteria love sugar. So if you're going to do cranberry juice, you have to do the organic, 100% natural, no sugar cranberry juice. And that stuff, let me tell you, that stuff is nasty. Just nasty. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and don't come at me in my comments of like, oh, demonese and blah, 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 and uva ursi and na, 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 and parsley. I know about all those. Okay, so this is one that I'm trying to teach you guys um, that you probably have never heard. So, in the time it took you to listen to me rant about UTIs on this video, you could have already gotten rid of your UTI. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take eight ounces of clean water, not tap water. We don't want tap water, it's full of chlorine and all sorts of nasty stuff. Then we're gonna take and we're gonna juice a real lemon. Don't use lemon juice, it's not gonna um, work as well. I love my little juicer. All right. You're going to take it and you're going to use the juice of one whole lemon. Put it in there. And then you're going to take um it's up to you, you know, what you want to use as a sweetener. As I said, I don't like using real sugar. I don't use real sugar anyway. I, I quit taking, taking granulated sugar like, I don't know, over six or seven years ago now. So I take a monk fruit sweetener, but you can use stevia, you can use whatever you want. Basically, what you're trying to do is you're, you're going to make a lemonade base, okay? Because this is going to change the pH. All right, and next, you're gonna go get yourself some cornstarch, okay? Yeah, I know. Now, please don't contact me underneath my videos and go, Marie, I'm allergic to cornstarch, what else can I use? I don't know, I've never done it with anything else. I only know how to do it with cornstarch. So, um, there's some people that will sit there and tell you, Oh yeah, baking soda works just as good. Baking soda takes about an hour because what it does is it also changes the pH. So you're gonna get two nice heaping teaspoons of cornstarch. Okay, I like to use um, Bob's Red Mill organic cornstarch. Okay, and it's you're gonna end up with this nice, pretty milky looking thing and then just chug it down. You're not gonna really taste the cornstarch. It's just gonna taste like lemonade. That's why you're making the lemonade base. And it's not bad. It's not bad to get down or anything. I even give it to my granddaughters and they don't have a problem drinking it. They drink it right down. It's nice and smooth. All right, so I promise you, set your timer five minutes after you drink it, go pee. I promise, UTI, gone. All right, so 
if it's not gone after five minutes, if the burning and the pain and everything is else is not gone after five minutes, there's something a little bit more serious going on. Okay. So this, you know, you can drink it if it does come back. So the only other thing that I do advise to ladies and gentlemen is this is a quick fix. Okay, it's gonna go in there, it's gonna change the pH, everything else, it's gonna take care of business. But in the meantime, you want to get yourself some olive leaf. Always have it on hand. If you want, I can put a link, we sell it in, our, in, in my store. Okay, olive leaf. Olive leaf is antibacterial, antiviral, it helps with herpes, it helps with UTIs, it helps with all sorts of stuff. So in the meantime, you can take olive leaf, okay? So, and you can take olive leaf up to three times a day. You can take two droppers three times, ago, three times a day. It goes right into your bloodstream and it starts breaking up that bacteria to get it moved out a lot quicker. Okay, this is gonna get rid of your pain. This is gonna get rid of your symptoms, but chances are it's not gonna get rid of the bacteria, okay? and five or six days down the road, you'll probably get, you know, little pain coming back. And you don't wanna just keep drinking this, okay? This is just a, we're gonna take care of that UTI real quick so you don't have any symptoms, but you wanna get something in there for that bacteria, okay? Olive leaf, to me, is the best because it doesn't mess with your gut flora. It doesn't, you know, you can take it indefinitely there's people who have herpes who take it indefinitely all the time as a pre preventative measure um, so you can do that or you know you can take it, you're not going to OD on it it's not addictive it, it doesn't have any side effects it's it's very healthy okay otherwise if you have oregano oil you can use oil of oregano shots you can use the dropper or you know you can use the pills um, and that will also kill the bacteria. This way you don't have to get on the antibiotics. All right, there you go. So stay happy. <laughs> Listen to some reggae today. <laughs> Maybe that's the universe telling me. <laughs> um, stay happy. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep you healthy for pennies a day. Tell your friends because I guarantee you, nobody knows about that. All right, we'll see you next time. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.